If you're anything like me, you're probably hungry right now. But wait, before you DoorDash McDonald's for the third time today, I know it's tempting, let me pitch an idea. Hi, I'm Ben Eshrick, and I'm stupid and don't know how to cook, so I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me recipe ideas for an appetizer, entree, and dessert, and then I'm going to go to the grocery store, buy the ingredients, come back here, cook the meal, not just for me but for three of my friends as well. Before we get started, here are the ground rules. Number one, I must use the first recipes provided to me by ChatGPT. All this means is that I have to use the first recipes that it gives me and I can't ask for any alternatives. Now I am allowed to ask follow-up questions about the recipes it gives me, like more specifics on how to make things, but I am not allowed to stray away from the instructions or ingredients that it gives me at all. Number two, I must make the dishes by myself without any help. This is because number one, I am not a chef. And number two, I'm specifically asking ChatGPT to give me dishes that that are easy to make, so I want to see if it passes that test. Rule number three, the judges must honestly grade each dish from one to ten. I don't want them to sugarcoat anything, I want honest reviews. Now with that said, here's the prompt that I sent to ChatGPT. I need to make an appetizer, a dinner, and a dessert for four total people tonight. It needs to not have red meat or nuts and be filled with protein and relatively calorie dense because we are bulking. Can you give me recipes for all three and instructions on how to make them? Also, make them as easy to make as possible without too many ingredients. Thanks. So the four people are the three judges and myself, and I asked it not to have red meat or nuts because of the judges' eating preferences, and I asked it to be calorie dense for bulking because I'm a bulking boy and I want bulking recipes. For the appetizer, it gave me a pretty simple garlic shrimp recipe. This recipe includes large shrimp, cloves of garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper, and parsley. For the entree, it gave me chicken avocado salad. The ingredients for this entree include chicken breasts, avocados, cherry tomatoes, red onion, lime, olive oil, salt and pepper, and cilantro. And for the dessert, we got Greek yogurt with honey and berries. The ingredients for this include Greek yogurt, honey, mixed berries, and mint leaves. I then asked ChatGPT to confirm that this was enough for four people, and ChatGPT confirmed that the amount of each ingredient was enough for four people. With this list of ingredients, it's time to go to the grocery store, so I'll see y'all there. One shop and $65 later, we have our ingredients. Let's go cook it up, boys. And we're back. Welcome to my kitchen. I have three judges and I need to make them each three dishes. All provided to me by chat GPT. I have an appetizer, I have an entree, and I have a dessert. But there's one problem. I am in no outfit to be a chef right now. So with that, I'll be right back. You may be wondering why my outfit says Chef Randy. Long story, I'm not getting into it. But what I am getting into is this shrimp. ChatGPT, save me. Um, if anyone wants to be my cameraman, that'd be great. All right, so step one. Heat the olive oil in a large pan over medium heat. Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Ben. So everything has already gone horribly wrong. I didn't know that deveining shrimp would take 56 hours. ChatGPT told me that this was a quick and easy recipe. Now that we have successfully deveined our shrimp, they are in this bowl here. Now I must heat the olive oil and mince the garlic and add it in. All right, here we go. Two tablespoons. And we have one of our judges arriving right on time. Welcome, Judge. I just learned how to devein and peel shrimp. Devein? Devein. Devein on this de all right, guys, so we are now heating oil. Mincing garlic basically just means chopping it up till like there's basically just nothing, right? Mm-hmm. Just like that, you have minced a garlic. All right, guys, we have our minced garlic here. It's going right in the pan. Ooh. Oh, man, that's, that's beautiful. Just like that. Arby's! Arby's! Do they know the viewers? Yeah, they know. Chat, can you we type what we're making? I am <laughs> making. Comment okay. one if you know what we're making. Hey, chat, should I kill myself? The average shrimp is eight inches. Chat, is this shrimp finished or am I gonna kill my friends? All right, we're calling them done. Okay, contestants. I have decided I am only making half the shrimp because fuck that shit. We have completed our first dish, garlic shrimp. The ingredients in this garlic shrimp were shrimp. I will now be having my judges try out the shrimp and then give me a grade. Judges, have a piece of shrimp. Cheers. Thank Cheers. Thank what do we think about the um, 
texture. I think the texture is good. I think it is good. I think that's good how it should be. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp is supposed to be. Are you telling me I cooked it for the right amount of time? Yes. Uh, yes that's what I'm oh, saying. Oh, easily. If you cooked it any more, it would have dried out. I think the texture is real good. I think the garlic's a nice hit. Yeah. Um, what else do you put on this? Uh, it's literally just garlic, salt, and pepper. The salt and pepper did had a good touch. It did. It did. I like the garlic because you didn't overdo it. Holy shit, that's good. Yeah, you didn't overdo the garlic. So that's pretty good. I am now going to ask each individual judge for their number grade, starting with Shay. Then Michael, then Jack. So Shay, from one shrimp to ten shrimp, how do you shrimpify? I like eight point three shrimps. I love it. I love it, Michael. Um, I had a similar thought process. I was gonna go eight four. So eight four. I have to wow. go eight four here. It's a pretty good. Wow. It's a solid shrimp. Hell yeah, Jack D. It's like right there, but I feel bad choosing the same thing that everyone else did. So I'll say. 8.35. All right. 8.35 shrimp. So, chat GPT, you came up with a damn good appetizer. We are liking the garlic shrimp. I'm Let's go. It. So I only ended up making half of the shrimp because it took a little bit longer than I thought to peel and devein them. I've never done this before. But other than that, this was super easy to make. And considering how few ingredients it used, it was really good. I am absolutely going to be making this again. So despite the thought that it was not going to be good, the judges loved it and I loved it too. At the end of the day, I'm giving ChatGPT an A- minus on the shrimp. Next up, we got the chicken and this one was a trip. Had a nice tone to it. Yeah, right? It's not people Look at that. So, I have to flatten these with a meat mallet, which, do we have one? I don't uh, fucking know. I think we do. How do, I, how do I mallet this meat without a meat mallet? I have a hammer. I'm not even kidding. We are using a hammer to mash the meat. All right, we do not have a hammer, but I read online that there is another alternative, and it is a cast iron skillet. Oh, oh my god, wait, it worked. <laughs> it's working. It's shaking the whole building. All right, our cast iron skillet is ready, and our chicken breasts are also ready. Ow! Fuck! I am not a chef. We are now going to wait six to seven minutes, or until a golden brown crust forms, and then we are going to flip these strong guys, and we're gonna cook them again. I did not season my chicken. All right, they cooked more than expected. I did not burn the chicken. I don't know, man. It looks like uh, you burned the chicken. I did not burn the fucking chicken. Jack? Never too late in the season. Okay. So I burnt the chicken, but I also feel like it might be raw on the inside. If that's the case, this dish is officially an F. Oh, it... Is that cooked? That's... That's juicy. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. In a small bowl, whisk together lime juice, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Ready? That was not supposed to happen. Next, you're gonna wanna add your diced avocado into the bowl. So that, that's a fuck up. The instructions very clearly stated that I add the avocado, chicken, and tomatoes in one bowl and then the dressing ingredients into another. But somehow, some way, I managed to mix not just the avocado, but also the tomatoes in the wrong bowl. Now it's fine, it worked out. The dressing goes with the chicken later anyways. But it is still worth pointing out that yes, I am an idiot that cannot read instructions. With that though, let's return to the video. I have to shred this chicken, so we're just gonna rip it apart like that. Credit to the sh whoever cooked this chicken. Thanks, man. You did a damn good job. All right, we have now completed the steps of mixing the chicken and the dressing and all of our veggies here. We now must chop our cilantro. All right, we now have completed chicken avocado salad. I pray this does not die. All right. <laughs> Fucking dude. <laughs> Judges, you are present, pre, 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 presented before you is your second dish, the entree, chicken avocado salad. Judges, have your bite. Get everything. Get everything. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Okay. You know that is low key. Very good. Mm. Is yeah. that shit gas? Is that shit It's pretty, pretty gas. Yeah. Yes! Right. Chicken was cooked right. very well. Chicken, was yeah, I was well. gonna say that first. Chicken was like perfectly cooked. The baby tomatoes add a nice little flavor to it. Tomatoes add a nice touch, a little acidity. And I'm not a huge chicken. avocado person, but that just worked. There's a little, it really don't forget about the, the red onion. That's yeah, the little hints of onion in there. Nice and you can taste the lime. There was enough lime juice for and sure. Avocado. Yeah, it actually came together really well. Mm -hmm. That being said, perfect. What would you rate this as Benjamin said? I'm gonna go. 8.9 chicken avocado salad. 8.9. Nine. 
Okay. Michael, I'm your rating. A little harsher. I'm gonna go seven, two. That's not bad, that's no, a passing grade. Not as good as the shrimp. That's, mm. we'll take it. Okay. Yeah, if I'm taking the shrimp into consideration, this is probably easily a 7 6. Okay! Where I, would go. I like that. Now, let me try it real quick. That's, That's pretty good. good. It's pretty good. Alright, if we cool. could ask you, what would you rate it out of 10? Yeah. I'm gonna give this a 7 7. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, not bad. Not bad, ChatGPT. Not bad at all. Once again, despite my thoughts of this chicken being totally botched, it actually ended up being really good. The ratings were a little bit lower than the shrimp, but considering the fact that chicken doesn't really have that much flavor to begin with, I could say I expected that. There was a good number of ingredients, but it wasn't too many to handle, especially after my first time making it. I could absolutely make this way better next time. And even though I accidentally put the avocado, tomatoes, and onions in the wrong bowl, it still turned out just fine. I would probably make something else in the future, but that's just because of my own preferences. Overall, I give it a B. And now, finally, something a bit easier. We're on to the dessert. Luckily, this one is very easy. All we have to do is mix half a cup of Greek yogurt into each of these bowls and then top it with honey and berries. Half a cup per person. Good measure. Just like that. Perfect. Let's just top it with some honey. Beautiful. Just like that. A little close up. Now this right here is one hell of a dessert. And it appears that our final dish is ready. Judges, before you is our dessert. Greek yogurt topped with berries and honey. Now, this one's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Without further ado, take a bite. Initial thoughts. Good flavor. I'm enjoying this with mm. honey. There's I'm good. standing. I'm yeah. standing. I'd love to hear it. Chad GBT kind of cooked on this one, I'm not going to lie. This is actually pretty good. Yeah. It yeah. is. Yeah. A little bit sticky. And the fact that it's like a healthier substitute to like ice cream mm -hmm. is definitely like Way a healthy. huge bonus. Absolutely. The honey is the MVP. 100%. It is good. Without the honey, it works. this isn't anything special. Fruit's a little hard. Fruit's oh, dried fruit. You can tell. You can taste it. Cold on the teeth. I feel like if the fruit thawed for like another 15 minutes, it would have yeah. actually like made a world of difference. But other than that, I mean, like, put up MVP debates against Yeah, them. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm. Wow. It's very good though. Without any further ado, the ratings. How many Greek yogurt topped with berries and honeys out of 10 is this shape? If the fruits were a little more thought, would have been a little bit higher. Because of that, still pretty good. Go 8.6. I like it. I like it. Okay, Michael. Um. I think it was the best so far, and it's, I don't think we're doing anything else, so the best of all three. And I actually enjoyed the hard berries, personally, so I'm going to go eight, nine, no, nine, one. Nine, really, one. Really, really, nine. Wow. I like that rating. That's yeah, the highest rating we'll on We'll be nice. We'll be nice. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said before, I think it's good because it's a healthier substitute, and on top of that, I think, like, the frozen berries, I, I agree with Shay a little bit, if they were thawed a little bit more, it probably would have been a little bit higher, however, I would go an even 8.8. 8.8? Eight. 8. 8. Wow! This is a All right! Dish. Yeah, this is a good dish. Gentlemen, I hope you enjoy the rest of your dessert. Thank you so much for helping me out with this video. Oh, yeah. Of course. And of now course. to everyone watching, back to the setup we go. See you there. Needless to say, I am impressed. Honey has always been an ingredient that I've heard about using in dishes, but I've never actually used it myself, and it did not disappoint. Jack GBT gave me a simple and very tasty dessert. The judges loved it. I loved it. I'm going to be eating this in the future. Absolutely. So with that, the Greek yogurt with berries and honey gets an A+. Chat GBT, nice job. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was an absolute blast to make. Shout out to the judges. Michael, subscribe to him. Shay, subscribe to him. And Jack, he doesn't have a YouTube channel, but we love Jack. They were obviously a huge help. Not only were they willing to get on camera, but even grade the dishes for me, which was awesome. So again, thank you to my judges. You guys were absolutely perfect. In terms of ChatGPT though, that was awesome. All I've learned from this is that ChatGPT can absolutely cook you dinner. As long as you give it the right parameters, it'll fit your needs pretty much perfectly. Even though I asked it to be a bit more calorie dense, it ended up giving me three very healthy courses, so I really can't complain about that. And when I asked it follow-up questions on how to make specific things, it answered them and gave me detailed instructions. ChatGPT absolutely exceeded my expectations. It saved me a lot of time because instead of having to go to some sort of YouTube video or find some recipe online, I was just able to ask it a question and it gave me an answer 
immediately. So while I have trashed on AI on this channel a little bit in the past, I obviously think it can be a very useful tool for something like this. With that said though, give this a shot. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment, share this video, subscribe if you aren't already. I do have another video in the works right now. It should be done by Christmas, but if not, it won't be too long after. So look out for that. But until then, check out my other long form videos and hopefully you enjoy my shorts as well. Make sure to check out my other socials if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.